Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and in today's video, we're gonna continue with part four of the basic home networking series where we're gonna take an older Unify UAP AC light, set it back to factory defaults and get it adopted to the lab controller. So welcome to part four of the basic home networking series. In part one, we set up the edge router X. In part two, we set up the Ubiquiti Cloud Key and Unify Controller. In part three, we set up the Unify Switch 8 60 watt PoE. And in this video, in part four, we're going to take this UAP AC light, which is currently connected to my cloud controller that you see here on the screen, and factory default it back to its original settings so that we could adopt it to that controller on the Ubiquiti Cloud Key that's set up in the lab. So there are a couple of different ways we can do this. We can click on the device itself and within the current controller, we can come over to configuration, say manage network, manage device and scroll down to where it says, forget this device and click on the forget button. This will remove the UAP AC light from the current controller and set it back to factory default at the same time. So that's one way of doing it. A second way of doing it would be to SSH into the device. So let me do that. Okay, so now we're at the command line and if I give you the show you the help command, you can see right here if we use the set default in the command line, we can restore to factory default. So that's another way of doing it. And the third way is the old-fashioned way which we can take a paper clip and right next to the ethernet cable, there's a little reset port. If you press and hold on uh, the reset button for about 10 seconds, uh, that should reset the uh, device back to factory default. Now I'm going to go, since I'm logged into the controller, the current controller, I'm going to just click on the device and go ahead and say, forget this device. Are you sure you want to remove the UAP AC light from the system? And I'm going to say confirm. And you can see now that it was removed from the current controller. So guys, I'll be right back. I need to switch my computer over to my lab network and get the UAP AC light plugged into the lab network as well and we'll begin the adoption process. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm signed into my lab controller. I switched my computer over to the lab network as well as the UAP AC light. And you can see that instead of the solid blue light now, there is a solid white light. I don't know, I hope you guys can see that. That basically means that the factory reset in the previous uh, controller was successful and now this device is ready to be adopted to the lab controller. So let's click on the devices. And you can see here, I have the UAP AC light. It's pending adoption, which because it's on the same local network as the controller, the uh, controller automatically uh, picked it up. So we're going to go ahead and say adopt. And now the, the uh, not the switch, the AC light is provisioning. And we should get a connected status shortly. Okay, there we go, guys. We have a connected status. So as I do in all my adoption videos, let's go ahead and click on the device and give it a user-friendly name by clicking on configuration and clicking in the alias field. And we're going to call this lab. UAP AC light. Click save. And now you can see that the device has taken on the new name. And that's pretty much it guys. We've factory reset a UAP AC light from one controller and we adopted it in the new controller. And you can see here now that the device is adopted. It's got a solid blue status light. So there you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching and see you next time.